the past cannot be undone but clearly the scares of deep ones will not heal with the passage of time alone nor will verbal atonement suffice a measure of restitution is necessary through concrete affirmative action to redress the occupation and rewards of the victims Today in Balochistan under Pakistan, the people are suffering from multiple forms of repression, discrimination, systematic elimination and subjugation. They are denied their basic rights in all aspects of life, including the education in their mother tongue. There are also clear evidences that Baloch children are daunted for from enrolling in schools and colleges are more likely to drop out because they face discrimination by Pakistani security agencies. Racial profiling at colleges and universities has increased the illiteracy radically among the Baloch population. Balustan, the richest land in terms of natural resources, is said to be the home of out-of-school children with more than 1 million children away from schools, confirmed UNICEF Pakistan. 78% of the girls are out of school and 68% of the boys. As any other nation, Baloch has its own native land, languages, culture and history. Balochi language is one of the oldest languages in the world. It comprehends an exclusive culture, literature and history and it was transferred through generations in forms of poetry, quotes and idioms. Projecting the Baloch people's struggle to regain their sovereignty as terrorism is a deliberate, discriminatory and unacceptable justification for the policies of military operations, assassination, collective punishment and settler colonization which are being imposed against the peoples of Baluchistan. The Islamic State of Pakistan has always used religious terrorism and racism as an instrument for the exploitation and subjugation of the peoples in Baluchistan.